really, really well. Hope you guys are all having a lovely start to September. So today we are decorating our house for autumn, which I've been so looking forward to. And I'm really happy because it's been the foggiest, rainiest morning and it's just making me feel like I want to make the house extra cosy. And you guys know I love this time of year just so much. I love absolutely everything about this season. I feel like September, October, November, December are just such just like exciting months so yeah super cozy day ahead hope you guys have got a nice hot drink hope you've got some snacks and i really hope you enjoy decorating the house with me today <laughs> autumn decor collection this table just makes me feel so happy i love all of the autumn colors and i just can't wait to find new homes for everything so i actually did a haul in my last video so i will link that down below just in case you are wondering where everything is from my newest addition actually is these cushions which are from next home and they're like a washed orange color um i had a bit of a panic buy <laughs> because i felt like everything was just a little bit too neutral and i really needed some like beautiful autumn tones in my decor so I picked up a few more bits including these flowers all of these faux flowers are from Dunelm I just happened to pop in there one evening and I found all of these I was so happy and lots of the new bits that I've actually picked up are from next home they honestly have so many beautiful autumn decor bits this year like this woven pumpkin all of like these kitchen bits oh my god and these how adorable are these so yeah definitely have a browse on next home if you haven't already This is officially the best Amazon purchase I have ever made. I couldn't believe it when I found this. As you guys know, it's so incredibly hard for us to find anything like this in the UK. Um, and yeah, I found it on Amazon. I will link below. Haven't tried it yet, but it smells absolutely incredible. I probably would try this with some nice frothy milk at some point made with a little bit of cinnamon on top but i'm also a huge lover of black coffee so i'm gonna try it like this see what it's like and then i might make some adjustments in my next cup so coffee is made next step to getting in the full autumn mood i am basically treating this like a decorate with me for christmas that's how how much i'm going in this year so i found on pinterest actually a list of like loads of autumn films which is amazing because i didn't actually know that many existed and lots of them i've never seen before so i'm excited to watch let me find the list for you guys oh hello <laughs> teddy just bought me a moth so the autumn film list i did actually save on my instagram so i've got a little highlight um which is called september and it's where i save all of like my autumn inspo um so lots of pinterest inspo there's also some like iphone backgrounds um and also the film list oh and also full bucket list which i'd really like to make soon you can see there's literally so many like autumn halloween kind of films so i'm gonna see if any of these are either on netflix or amazon prime also let me know if you guys have have any favorite like films that you like to watch around this time of year if you haven't seen virgin river oh my god such like a cozy full kind of series um so that's probably one of my probably one of my only recommendations i don't think i've seen many autumn films so i need to get watching first let's try our pumpkin coffee it's gonna be hot Not what I was expecting at all. I feel like it smells a lot more festive than it tastes. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice. And I feel like it makes the black coffee a little bit sweeter, um, but I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting to take a sip and it tastes exactly like 
a pumpkin spice latte. I feel like with some frothed milk, like I said, and maybe a little bit of pumpkin spice syrup in there as well, I think it would be gorgeous. So I'm gonna try that next. So before I pop on a film and start decorating, I just want to say a huge thank you to Glossybox for sponsoring this part of the video. If you guys haven't heard of Glossybox before, they are a monthly subscription service and if you subscribe, you'll receive a beautifully packaged box to your door every single month which will have a selection of hair, beauty and skincare products. And each box is always worth over £50. So you get so much for your money and it's such a lovely way as well to try out new products without committing to buying obviously like a full-size product it can be very expensive so it's definitely a great way to save money but also treat yourself and find new products so if you subscribe today and use the code Gemma you will actually receive a free box worth over 50 pounds so this is what you will receive every single month they always come beautifully packaged and sometimes there are also themed boxes as well it's such a lovely treat to receive this to your door every month so in your September box there are actually six products and this box is worth over over 75 pounds which is amazing and in your box the first thing I have pulled out is this cleansing brush so this is the spa to you dual facial cleansing brush and as you can see there are two sides this side which is really soft and then this is the exfoliating side and this is actually worth 16 pounds 49 by itself we also have as well this pearl sheet mask which is worth 4.99 perfect for a little pamper evening next we have an amazing product i have used this before and it's so good so this is the figs and rouge affecting serum drops such a lightweight serum and you pop it on each morning and your skin just looks so like awake and bright it's perfect for one of those days you know when you just don't want makeup on and you just want to have like really almost like just stepped out the spa skin this is an amazing serum and it's worth 42 pounds on its own next we have an antibacterial cleansing foam which will go amazing alongside your new cleansing brush we also have as well a cheek and lip tint which is 12 pounds on its own last but definitely not least we have three little perfume testers so perfect to keep in your handbag like they're so mini i lied that was not the last product and there is not six products in this glossy box there's seven there's also a delicious lindor chocolate which is an essential self-care treat if you ask me as always there will be a link down below for glossy box don't forget to use my code Gemma. if you subscribe today you'll receive a free box of 50 pounds and i also just wanted to let you guys know as well i know you love the glossy box advent calendar just as much as me it's actually available on the 24th of september which is so exciting and this year it's worth over 465 pounds which is amazing didn't have much luck looking for an autumnal film turns out literally none of these films are on netflix well the ones i've searched for anyway and i forgot my amazon prime account password story of my life so as i was kind of like searching autumn october harvest fall i found a film that i absolutely love and i remember it being quite autumnal it's based on a farm and it's one of those just like real feel good films it has cozy vibes so yeah film of choice today is falling in love Okay, I've decided to start in the kitchen because I feel like most of the autumn decor is gonna go in here um, and the living room, but I feel like there's a lot more to play around with in here on the shelves. Um, these are actually a new addition. Jamie popped these up last night. They are exactly the same as the shelves over here, but at the weekend, I was kind of having to play around with everything. But I decided to make this corner a little coffee corner, um, which I've always wanted. And I just think it's the perfect space. I've left lots of room to decorate. And then on these shelves, this is just everything that was over here. So I think I'm going to keep 
some bits on here um, and then just add like little autumn elements so i've collected a few bits that i feel like will be perfect for the kitchen oh i forgot to show you guys actually i found this on amazon as well which is pumpkin spice latte hand wash which i'm gonna pop over near the sink and then i just collected a few other bits that i feel like will look really nice on the shelves so obviously i can pop my new teapot in my coffee corner i'm gonna have a faff I'm going to get everything off the shelves, kind of clear the worktop so I've got a bit of a clean slate and then see where everything looks nice. Okay, be honest with me. What do you guys think to this little garland here? I kind of love it, but kind of don't at the same time um i think it looks really cute and fun but does it go because i feel like this section of the shelf is very like farmhouse stone kind of texture and then i i don't know if this goes do any of you guys do this i feel like sometimes when i'm unsure on something i have to go out the room pretend i've never seen it before and then walk in the room and look at it as if it's the first time me seeing it. So now I've done that, I don't know if it looks strange. Oh, I don't know. super long I always find these are way too long for the vases that I'm gonna use them in um, so you can actually just bend things like this to however short you want them find also it helps them kind of stay up as well because once they're in the vase it kind of opens and it acts as like a little don't know a little like stand and I find they just they kind of sit so much better in the vase a lot today. I must have moved things off and on those shelves a lot of times. I just feel really like undecisive and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to decorate but not create clutter because I, I like to kind of have quite a clear space and obviously adding so many decorations into your home it can create quite a lot of clutter and I feel like if my house is cluttered I like genuinely cannot think straight so I'm really trying to I'm trying to decorate without it feeling cluttered which is actually really really hard so after kind of like faffing I have decided that what I need to do is instead of adding things I need to be like taking something away that I would have up all year round and replacing it with something all to me so that's what I've kind of been doing for the past hour but it is time to put up my beautiful, extremely delicate wreath. How gorgeous is this? This is actually from Keepsakes of Yaxley, which is a family run business. They have been our family friends for literally since I was born for as long as I remember. And I went into the shop if you guys are ever looking for really really cute like little autumn knickknacks or just beautiful flowers then definitely have a look in keepsakes of yaxley it's the cutest little shop on earth um but i went in there to pick up some flowers i completely and utterly fell in love with it um lisa said she actually made this last year so obviously last autumn when she made it everything was a lot more colored but everything has kind of dried out and i just think 
it's the most beautiful reef but it is extremely delicate so it can't go outside so i was thinking of popping it on the kitchen door um because we always have the kitchen door open because obviously the cats are in and out of the kitchen their food's out here um so i thought that would be the perfect place for it so i've got some command hooks yeah i feel like a little piece of keepsakes of yaxley is in our house and i just think it's so beautiful like the detail on it is absolutely incredible okay i have a choice of command hooks so i've got this big chrome one which might look a little bit ugly the other side of the door because obviously our kitchen door is glass and i feel like this one you'll be able to see the other side but that one does look like the strongest and i don't want that roof to fall down so hmm clear ones and i've also got to be fair i think maybe two of these because they're small but they look mighty like these look strong so if i put two of these up then i think it'll look a little bit better than this one <laughs> this one is quite ugly isn't it <laughs> on the kitchen door so this is what it would look like if you were to walk in through the front door i think it looks cute kitchen door is usually always open so it will look like this from like the dining area see now i'm looking at it here i think it would look better on the utility door <laughs> i don't know i'm so indecisive today time to decorate the room I feel like I've been most excited about which is our living room this is going to go through quite a few changes over the next few weeks um, we actually have different wall lights coming and we are looking to paint and potentially panel in here so I feel like this will be the forever changing room um, and then obviously when it's Christmas gonna have a Christmas tree here but this is a new addition as well this is my new little morning space reading chair which is just so cozy and i think it is perfect for this room i was really unsure with what to do with this corner but i think this looks really lovely so plan for the living room is the main part of this that i'm going to decorate is obviously going to be our fireplace which can you believe we haven't even lit yet so i'm looking forward to the first time we can light that especially when it's all decorated i've got some garlands which i think i'm going to pop on top and then i've got loads of pumpkins left so i'm going to make some kind of like pumpkin patch down here and then i've got some candles i also need to switch up this eucalyptus and switch it for the warmer toned eucalyptus and i also have some other flowers to play about with as well and then i kind of want to add a few bits to this basket like some little pumpkins maybe even the felt acorns um oh just noticed my blanket's gone all funny that looks like something teddy's done with his claw <laughs> My least favourite things to do in the entire world is detangling lights. Teddy's getting cosy amongst my autumn decor. Teddy, that doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> you made yourself a little nest. Don't you that.
finished. I think I'm happy with everything. I have moved it all around about a million times. I've been in the most indecisive mood today. I will blame that time of the month, cannot make a decision. So I've decorated the kitchen, the hallway and the living room. I do have a few more bits and pieces to come. So I'll probably do another like mini decorate with me in an upcoming vlog. But honestly, it feels so homely. Okay, let's do the grand tour. If you think you can hear fire crackling, best believe you can hear fire crackling. I wish it was cold enough to put this on, um, but it's actually still quite toasty today. So, I mean, I don't want to cook us alive. So as you walk in through the front door, you are greeted with a little Tilly. Hello, darling. So I feel like let's start in the living room. So as you can see, I've tried to keep it still quite minimal, but also really cozy. So first thing as you walk in, I have my gorgeous new throw from Olivia's. This is so thick and cozy. So I thought I'd swap my more kind of like lightweight throws for this one. Now, as you can see on the sofa, this is still pretty much the same and I have ordered some more of these deep orange cushions to go on here because I feel like that will just tie the entire room together. So there are still going to be some changes made which I will of course update you on. And then with the coffee table, I just swapped the eucalyptus for these stems which I think look perfect. I did play around with my coffee table basket and I popped some pumpkins in there and a reed diffuser and candles. But after a lot of moving stuff around, I kind of discovered that less is definitely more in this room and I just kind of wanted the fireplace to be the main decorated area. So pretend this is a real fire and it's in there. Um, I just popped some candles down here, just some pillar candles. Then I also have as well this pumpkin. Now this is just a glass pumpkin, but I popped some little LED lights in there and the LED lights and the pumpkin are both from Lights for Fun. Such an amazing place for autumn decor. The garland is also from there as well. They honestly sell so many like fun little home bits. Then I have my thankful sign, which is from a company called Ducks Nest Interior. Like I said, I will link as much as I can down below. Let me know what you guys think, as always. Let me know if you would change anything, take anything away, or add anything. But I am very much looking forward to having a cozy night in here with a cheese board and a film. Okay, and then coming out of the living room, the next area that I have decorated is the hallway. I am obsessed with these flowers. These are also from Olivia's. They literally came today, which was amazing. I might keep these here all year round. Um, I just, I love them here. I think they look so nice. So before you would have seen, I had my eucalyptus here in my concrete vase. I love the glass vase here. I feel like it makes the space look so much more open. So I swapped those around. Then I also, Popped another one of the burnt orange cushions down here with my farm fresh pumpkins cushion. The last thing I changed in the hallway, I added my white company autumn candle, which smells amazing. And then in the winter, I was thinking I could swap this for the winter white company candle because that one is just, oh my goodness, that's my favorite scent ever. And then going through to the kitchen, it's my favorite time of day. It's like quarter to seven and the sun always beams through this window and it just goes so golden in here, like it's so beautiful. So I decided to keep the wreath on this door because I feel like it looks really lovely from like the hallway when you come in through the door. So this is what the kitchen looks like. Like I said, I haven't kind of added loads, but I feel like it feels a lot more, it just feels so much cozier and warmer in here. So let's start with these shelves over here. I made this kind of makeshift centerpiece. Let me know if you guys like it. I saw something similar on Pinterest, um, but I'm, I'm more than likely gonna change it. So it's literally a cake stand, a fruit bowl, and a wreath, but I think it kind of works. Then on the shelves, I have my little tray, which I added some of these wicker pumpkins to, which I think looks really nice. 
and then the only other autumn -y kind of thing I added was this white pumpkin candle and then moving over to the sink this was actually empty before but I decided to add some of these gorgeous like these are like a really warm kind of goldy orange toned eucalyptus again these are from Dunelm I think they look so nice and I'm tempted to keep these here all year round again because I think oh I just love it so much and then we also have as well a pumpkin latte hand wash over here this is my coffee corner I'm so excited to use this in the morning so I do actually have a few things still being delivered um, I've bought a new cafetiere which is going to go up here probably instead of that mug because that mug does look a little bit lonely up there. So this is a chopping board with little feet so it's slightly raised. This was from Hudson Home and I just added a Hello Pumpkin sign and also pumpkin mugs from Anthropology. And then I also as well added my pumpkin spice syrup. I'm going to try the Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee tomorrow with the pumpkin spice syrup and milk and see what it's like very excited for that and then on my shelves i've just added a few little pumpkins i added some cinnamon into this little jar and then on the top shelf we have a hello full mug which i'm gonna put my cafetiere there either with it or instead of it because it's quite big then i have my pumpkin kettle and then just a little felt pumpkin. Then this side of the kitchen is looking extremely bare. I still need to kind of figure out what I want on this side of the kitchen. Um, so this is probably gonna change. These little pumpkins down here. Um, these are the salt and pepper shakers. And then this is the little mini, little mini like casserole dish, which I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna bake like individual apple pies in here. And then last but definitely not least, We've got some tea towels here, which I love. Again, I think they tie the whole kitchen together. Hey my loves, that is gonna go ahead and end today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed decorating with me. It's been the coziest day and I am just so excited to enjoy our newly decorated home. I can't believe just how almost much more homely it feels now. Um, I just wanna keep my autumn decorations up forever. And I feel like I was thinking this earlier when I was untangling the lights actually <laughs> i was thinking about how much this actually reminds me of decorating for christmas i've never really gone out this much on decorating for autumn um purely because we've never really had the space and as you guys know we've literally just bought our first home so we can finally have everything exactly how we want it and it's just felt really special to be able to decorate it today and it kind of gave me like a little a little taster of what Christmas is gonna be like here and I feel even more just excited for that now and yeah really exciting times to come um, I do have a few other things to decorate of course we have the porch which is gonna be a whole decorate with me video in itself we're probably gonna decorate the porch I'd probably say first week of October um, because we need pumpkins and I don't think anywhere is selling pumpkins just yet a um, little bit early Gemma I would like to go pumpkin picking first pick all the pumpkins for the porch feel like this is a bit of a tongue twister and then decorate the porch with those pumpkins how many more times do you want to say pumpkins and porch we also have as well the dining table to decorate um i didn't do that today because that area isn't finished we still need to figure out what we're doing with the back wall and we also still need our dining chairs to come so once that area is a little bit more finished we can decorate that as well so there are lots more decorate with me videos to come so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed decorating with me today thank you for watching as always love you all so much and i'll catch up with you all in my next video bye bye